Morning guys, so I'm just going to get myself ready, we're going to Westfield today, um, just to have a little mooch about really, so I'm just going to do um, my makeup, ready to go, so this is my skin with just fake tan on it, um, I know you can probably see like a ring around my eyes and really bad bags, but um, what I tend to do, because I've got the um, lash extensions, with the tan, I don't tend to put it um, around my eyes too much because I know, obviously, if you use anything with, like, a um, oil base, it can make your lashes come out. So, this is literally just, I just put a little bit on my cheeks, a little bit on my nose and forehead, and, yeah, that's what I tend to do. So, this is... I'm just going to be using to start with, this is my Estee Lauder um, Daywear um, Moisturiser. So this is a tinted moisturiser. I just rub that in, sort of in and around my lids but um, and onto my cheeks and just sort of rubbing it in. You have to make sure with this that you put it um, sort of down on your neck as well because it's tinted. Um, if you leave your neck it can you can sort of get that flat foundation line so i'm just putting a little bit of this on and then um yeah i'll go ahead with my foundation i'm really like i don't actually use a lot of um a lot of makeup i just literally this i use as like an underliner and a primer because it is also a primer as well but what i tend to do is i put that on leave that to set for a minute then i'll just put in my little hairband so i don't get any um any makeup really like in my hair um next up what i tend to do is i use my um foundation which is maybelline fit me foundation i don't know if you can see um, so that is basically um, a matte foundation which I quite like so I put a little bit of that on my brush and I just work it in in and around my eyes and sort of down onto my neck as well um, I quite like this foundation it's quite nice because it's um, it doesn't feel very heavy on your eyes and um, on your skin because I hate that. You know when you just feel like you've got been caked in makeup? Um, excuse the bad knuckles. <laughs> I'm due to uh, exfoliate my tan and start again. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm just going to rub that down into my neck. Like that. So that's the foundation. Next up, I'm gonna put on my um, bronzer. So what I tend to do, so this is MAC Dark Tan. This is Dark Tan um, bronzer, which is really nice. So I just put a little bit of that on my brush and then I tend to sort of come down like that and do a little bit there, a little bit on the nose and down and then what I use next is I've got MAC it's called Hush Tone which is a blusher um, that's like a peachy coloured blusher since I've had my hair dark I tend to like use like a peachy tone so I just put a little bit of that on the apples of my cheeks and then I do tend to just put a little bit here just I don't know why but I just like to just give that a little bit more and then next up I just what I tend to do is just come in and just comb my lashes to make them a little bit more fluffier I only had them done yesterday so they don't really need a lot but it's just like where I've slept on them and that. It just makes them feel a little bit fluffier. Next up, what I tend to do is um, my brows. So I've got really, so at the minute, as you can see, I need my tattooing done on my brows because they've really 
faded. So what I tend to use is Eyelaw do a, um, it's like a powder for your brows and um, it's sort of got like a wax, a powder and then the lighter for the highlighter but I just use the powder really. I feel like the wax makes them look a little bit harsh. So with the brush I just come through and I just brush the hairs up through there like that and then I just come through and get a little bit of the powder and I just fill in it's mostly just filling in where my tattooing needs doing really because the other bits of my brows are fine I get my brows threaded um, and I try and remember to get them tinted but it's literally it's just filling that in you see the difference that that makes I need to go through and just touch it up when I'm closer to the mirror but um, yeah it makes a difference because my brows are so desperately needing to be done it's just that that middle bit really that I need to go through and just fill in um, so yeah so once I've done that just pick any hairs off I tend to go over it again at the end um let it settle and then go over it in case like it looks a bit patchy but then after that all i do is i will put a little bit of lipstick on so what i'm using at the minute you know you have that favorite um lipstick that you just love and you go to for everything so i brought this when we was in bath for the weekend and it's kiko it's basically kiko um makeup this is gossamer emotion um number 104 but it's like a nice like new again like a nudie peach which i quite like so i just put a bit of this on i do normally use like a liner but because i'm we're just pottering about I won't make too much effort with the liner and everything but that's what I tend to use so yeah that is just how I do my makeup really um the tan obviously is a bit of a disaster at the minute I need to get all that off but it will do for today so yeah so that is my um day-to-day -day makeup You can like draw a picture, leave a message, and then you just press home. It tells you the temperature, things that are on your to-do list. And when you open it, it's like obviously a normal fridge. But that's so cool. Smart fridge was one eight one nine, now one two seven three. Cool. shopping and um, we got a few bits for Hi home. Guys. Hi, here's Jack. Hello. We got a few bits for um, when we move out which I'll show you later. <laughs> um, I got a few really good bargains in um, Zara. What did you get? 
just a top in the uh, top oh, man yeah. summer top, top a summer top for vegas in top man so yeah all's good hi everyone i hope you had a good week i've had a really weird week this week it, i've done nothing like literally nothing just working um so sorry that there's not loads of um exciting things going on in this um vlog but um my dad had a hip replacement last week so we've just been looking after him really um he's doing really well but yeah so um this morning actually i've just come to do one of my clients hair and then now meeting the girls for breakfast so that would be really nice um we always go to these really nice little tea rooms in in um like near where we live in the town near where, town where we live and it's so lovely it's like really cute so yeah um we're going there next um, and then yeah not a lot really on later today um, it's one of them days where like it's a horrible day today like the weather is just horrible there's like a massive storm and there's really bad winds I'm in the little smart car so I'm getting bashed around um, but yeah it's really rainy it's just horrible it's the sort of day where you just want to stay indoors wrapped up under your duvet watching films all day but hey ho i'm out and i'm up and i'm about so yeah um but no it's a bit been a bit of a non-eventful week this week but hopefully there'll be a bit more going on next week <laughs> in the rain great my hair is now a state but um i need to get organized for vegas so we're going to vegas in um may and um normally i'm so organized with things like this i literally have everything organized i know what we're doing when we're doing it i love an itinerary most people hate it but I love an itinerary because we're so used to going to um, Florida and having everything planned and when we're doing what and everything like that everything's booked this feels really weird to me I'm like do I book to go out for dinner do I wait till we're there but then that gives me a bit of a panic like oh my god I can't go and have nothing planned so I I'm trying to get organised with everything like that. Um, so let me know if any tips or anything. If you've been to Vegas and you've got good tips on places to go, things to do. Um, I've got a list of things that um, we want to do. Um, we want to go and do the zip line um, in the um, old Vegas where you zip line through, I think it's Fremont Street. So we want to do that. That's on the agenda. We want to do the High Roller Happy Hour, which is like the London Eye, but you go up on the on the eye and then it's unlimited drinks. And yeah, it looks really cool. And then you look out over the strip. So that's another thing we want to do. We want to see a show. If anyone's been recently and can recommend a good show, um, um, I know there's a few like Cirque du Soleil shows. We've never seen Cirque du Soleil, um, but there's a few different ones. So let me know if you know of a good one. Um, I'm just trying to think what else now, really. Um, we was going to do a pool party, but it just seems more of a group thing. I, I don't know. So when, we're probably going to put that on the back burner because, to be honest, like, I've only ever done pool parties with a group and it's a bit more sort of where do you put your stuff 
like if there's just the two of us and so we might not but what the main things that we want to do is just explore the hotels do a bit of shopping um eating out quite like we're going to eat out because we're staying at the cosmopolitan um and there's a few nice restaurants in there but i want to know of other restaurants as well in all the other hotels um and yeah just having a bit of a mooch about really um so let me know if you've got any tips and um yeah i'm also looking at booking um like i was looking at booking to see someone out there but the only person that's on when we're there is like gwen stefani and i didn't really fancy her um we was gonna go and see i've jack really wanted to go and see um the two magicians pen and teller but i don't think they're on when we're there either so we've just got to keep a look out but yeah let me know if you know of anywhere